my life has been like climbing a mountain. Along the way up I keep stopping to help others, showing them repeatedly the way. For what good would it be if I'm the only one who gets to the top? One of the most touching moments uh, with Project V-Day was having Arlen uh, share her poetry to an audience of 70 people, downtown State College, uh, for really for the first time. I dream about being able to walk and talk like most people, but then in the light of a new day. I am grateful for what I can do, and I am satisfied. The device I am using is called the Bose Box. Just you know, showing the community what she was capable of and really just the talent that she had and giving her that space to, to, for people without disabilities that might not interface with that part of the population to realize that she was smart, she had things to say, and she really had a talent that she wasn't able to use or share um, because of her communication disability and because of cerebral palsy. What the Voice Box allows a person to do and use is it allows them to actually be able to speak, it allows them to be able to watch YouTube videos, it allows them to be able to be heard, um, and also be able to do it in a way that they can because our technology as a whole is not really that accessible and some people need an extra level of something tangible that actually allows them to access that and that's what the Voice Box does. So people with disabilities can control the Vos box with wearables, um, eye tracking sensors, gaze detector, glasses, and this allows them to either do direct selection or do a scanning mode, um, which basically you know scans through different options. It can also have predictive, so it can take you know what they've said before and allow them to make sentences a lot quicker. Hi, my name is Aaron. My cat's name is Dirk Lake and Dreamer. I am 16 years old. I'm so excited for your 10th grade year. Our Vose Box design has not just evolved, it's almost completely changed, you know? And we went into it with a lot of assumptions and sometimes you have to realize you're not attached, you can't be attached to the product. You have to be attached to the problem that you're trying to solve. So this is one of the um, first devices that we had. This is a the original Vos box and we're just gonna open it up. And you can see it has a 18 mega 2560 microprocessor in it, a Bluetooth RN42 chip. Um, and a little micro SD card. And basically what this does is allow someone with disabilities that can't speak to plug in with a different sensor, either through Bluetooth. Um, they could use a wearable glove to control it with their hand or their foot, um, but also they can plug in with a AT switch. So for example, this is a PAL pad, which is just a pressure sensor that you could put under someone's foot. And then that just plugs directly into our device. Starting as a small company with no pre-existing IP, no pre-existing designs, you know, it's almost like you have to do everything from scratch. But starting from scratch takes a ton of work and a ton of time, and it's so hard to estimate even how long it's even gonna begin to take you to make a new design. All Team Designer has been a really great tool for us. Um, one of the things that I really did like about it is actually the fact that like it already has um, a large pre-existing number of library components. We have to work within a really tightly constrained environment as far as like the type of enclosures that we have because that like you know price is a very important factor for the market that we're trying to serve and being able to make sure that we don't have collisions in between our components and that everything lines up how it is is extremely invaluable to us to actually be able to create a finished product that works. You know, some of the best ideas can only be seen from the ground level. And that's where we are right now, is looking at the ground level and trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Instead of just asking him yes and no questions, you can actually ask him questions and he can give you an answer besides yes and no. 
because, you know, for years it was always yes, no, yes, no. But now he has so much, so many more choices. There are so many people in the world that still need something like the Vos box. You know, once you give them the technology, then, you know, what are the, the limits? There are none.